A representative for Louis C.K. says a comedian will issue a statement soon in response to sexual harassment allegations. The Emmy winner was scheduled to appear last night on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert to promote his new movie. That didn't happen, and Colbert told his audience why. Also, for those of you tuning in to see my interview with Louis C.K. tonight, I have some bad news. <laughs> then I have some really bad news. <laughs> Louis canceled his appearance here tonight because the New York Times broke this story today. Five women are accusing Louis C.K. of sexual misconduct. And a warning, some of the allegations are quite graphic. Three women interviewed by the New York Times, including one who wanted to remain anonymous, claimed that Louis C.K. exposed himself and masturbated in front of them. Another woman said it happened over the phone. A fifth woman said C.K. approached her and she declined. New York Times culture reporter Malena Rizek joins us at the table. She is one of the journalists who broke the story of the allegations against Louis C.K. Good morning to you. Good morning. You would just never think you'd be talking about masturbation on morning TV, but here we are. This stuff is very serious. Absolutely. What made you and your team decide to investigate him in the first place? Well, you know, this is a moment in the aftermath of all of this reporting that people have done about allegations against Harvey Weinstein, Bill O'Reilly, other people in the, in the, in the news. Uh, this is a moment when women feel that there's a uh, uh, an opportunity for solidarity to speak out. And we have had a tips line, NewYorkTimes.com slash tips, in which people are offering to share their stories. It's been very active. So we started to hear certain names pop up over and over, and we began looking into them. You reached out to the women, and why did, what did they tell you? Why are they deciding now that it's the time to talk? And some of their allegations are very graphic. They said they brought it up years ago. Yeah, some of these stories have been out there. You know, they've been rumored in the comedy community especially. But I think for these women, for the women we spoke to, they felt that this is the moment to speak. You know, there is this movement. There is this sense of solidarity that their stories now will get support, will be heard, will be listened to in a way that they felt may not have been happening, you know, years past. There's a report also that Louis C.K. reached out to apologize to some of them at some point. That's right. Several of the women did receive messages from him or spoke to him on the phone, and he expressed feeling sorry for the, his behavior. And in some cases, uh, one, some of the people accepted his apology and forgave him. But, you know, one of the things that's interesting about this behavior is that it really hits deeply. And an apology is a great move to, to make, but, but it doesn't necessarily erase the, the pain or the trauma of the original experience. Was it more difficult for these women to come forward, given the industry? that they're in and their roles as comedians. I mean, we look back at his work and he sort of alluded to these types of acts before. Did, did these women feel extra pressure about not coming forward because of the line of work that they're in? I think so. I mean, comedy, like many fields, is a male-dominated industry and there's an expectation, especially if you're a comedian, a female comedian, that, you know, you can hang with it. You can take a dirty joke. You can be accepting of some raunch that would be out of place in most workplaces. But to be on his point, he would sometimes joke about about some of these acts that he, some of these um, incidents that he's accused of now doing. Well, something like masturbation is definitely a theme in his work. You know, right. he talks, makes jokes about it on stage. He makes jokes about it in his TV show. It, it factors in his new movie that is due to be released next week. So, definitely, some of the women we spoke to thought that maybe his style of comedy was perhaps a way to mask the actual misconduct, like a shield, or a, alleged misconduct. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's going to respond in a. Statements. Yeah, we've been told that he is going to uh, respond in a statement. He, he did not comment for our story. I was struck by something that Jody Cantor said in our piece earlier in the show when she said these women are coming forward now because they didn't want to miss the window. Is there fear that that window is going to close and, and that these types of incidents are going to start recurring even after everything we've seen following Harvey Weinstein revelations? I think there is certainly a fear that there could be a backlash to all of this information. But, you know, what we've seen so far, and I can say from our reporting, from the story coming out yesterday to today, we definitely have had other people call up and say, you know, I've had experiences in general, not necessarily with Louis, but, you know, people feel like this is the moment to talk. And it's emboldening a lot of people that, that might not have wanted to talk before. On this tip line, are you investigating other people? I'll say that the tip line has been very active, yeah. yeah. Right. You, you never want much. a New York Times headline saying a story is coming no. shortly. No, you don't. No. Certainly not this one. Thank you very much, Melina. Thank you. Thank you.